Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Corridor Design series. If you're new here, I make Corridor fun and easy to learn. In this story, I'm going to show you how I created this flyer inside of Corridor, right? If you've not gotten your Smart Designer Premium Asset, it's still very much available. Click on the link in the description of this video to get yours alongside the Corridor template also that you can use for your designs. If you've not subscribed, now is the best time to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notification and like this video all right so let's jump right into it so the first thing click on file and click on new so i'm just going to be sending this to five by five inches resolution stays at 300 and i'm just going to put a simple name here so you can choose to give it a name of your choice but i'm just going to have social media flyer all right it's for a restaurant but then i'm just going to have social media flyer double click on this rectangle here to create a rectangle give it a white color click on white and come here to remove the outline set it to none right so this is done the first thing you want to do is go over to your rectangle tool this is your rectangle tool here so draw a rectangle like this make sure it's not outside make sure it's in the confinement of the drawing page so draw from this part to this part here make sure it's not outside you can zoom in and zoom out like this with your scroll wheel right so give it this orange color and come here remove the outline set to none so this is the first step right so the next step we're going to be converting this to curve right so um if you're using earlier versions of um coral draw you can right click but i'm going to do this the easiest way go to objects and click on convert to curve make sure the object is selected which is the rectangle as you can see now it has it's a curve so I'm just going to drag this node here and drag it down like this. And I'm also going to drag this point here just a little bit. So to select a node, just click on it and move it upward like this. So that's how you actually work with nodes. So um, moving on, go over to your text tool or your type tool. And I'm just going to type out this. It's supposed to be delicious. So I'm just going to cancel this. Okay. Okay, so the word is delicious, right? So I'm just going to move it to the center of the page. Change the font first. Yes, I'm, I'm using this. Again, uh, this font I'm using is inside of the CorelDRAW um, 2000 templates. You can find this font here and also install on your PCs and um, use them for your designs also right so it's power packed so you don't want to miss it so click on the link in the description of the video to get yours right so um ctrl c ctrl v to make a duplicate copy of this select the two of them hold down shift select this and um, go over to object and um cover here like this um before you make it white, Ctrl Z. Um, let's bring this downwards. We're going to skew it. Click on it, bring it downwards like this. And click on it again to bring in this skew option. And um, you want to bring it up like this. All right? So this is what we want to achieve. So make it a white. Make it a white color. And just bring it outside here like this. Right click and click on power clip inside and click on this orange rectangle. Click on edit and while it's inside, you want to make it bigger. So let's just increase the size. Let's blow it up. And when you're done, um, click finish like this. Okay. So um, there you have it. So this is the first stage. Now let's move over to the other things. Um, select your ellipse tool and uh, 
draw a perfect circle like this and um, give it this color remove the outline too what you want to do is go ahead to where you have your resource file this is the only resource file there the others are in the smart designer and your color draw template file right so it's important for you to also get that to do these exercises right so um mm -hmm. move this inside here like this so with this image what we want to do is um instead of making it orange um i'm getting rid of the edges of these plates that i have here with my shape too right i'm just moving it upward a bit and um, it's perfect here so select these two of them and press c and e on your keyboard letter c and letter e to centralize it now with this one i'm just going to give it a white color i'm just going to leave it at white like this Right, you can use orange, you can use white based on the aesthetics of this design. It works both ways, but I'm just gonna leave mine like this and make it slightly bigger. And also increase the size of um the plate itself. So going forward, I'm just going to go on and um bring in some text to Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and um, I'll do that again. Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So this is going to be Mount War Tree like this. Highlight the two of them. And um, bolding it again, the font that I use is inside of the Corel Draw template file right so i'm just going to duplicate this i'm just going to use it to, to, to um i'm going to have fried rice here so just reduce the size like this and um you're good to go yeah so we're good to go like this so what i'm going to do here is still very unique I'm going to select all of them. Select the watery, select the fried rice. Selecting all of them like this. Click on it again to bring out this key option. Then move it upward like this. Just like we did for the delicious. So I'm just going to blow it up like this. Make it bigger. Like this. And uh, yes. This is how big I want it to be. It is a bit and we're good. Mouth with three fried rice. Okay, so I'm just going to use my pen to to draw a shape. Click, 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 and um, click here again. Right to draw the shape. Right, change it to none. With it still selected, bring it outside, right click on it and go to where you have power clip. Select the mouth that's the text and uh, move it upward a bit. When you are done, click finish. This is what you should have. Okay. Click on file and I'm just going to go inside and see I'm inside my Corel Draw um, template, right? So inside here, this is where we have the vectors like. So double click on this file to open the file up inside. So this is the Corel Draw Premium template. So the link is in the description of this video for you to download and use these files for yourself. So I'm just going to open it up. You can see so many things we have here. These are pages. Um, 
I'm just going to go over to the ones that I want to use. You can see you guys have so many shapes for your compositions, so many banners for your websites and all of that. So I'm going to start with this. Um, you have these shapes also. These are for flash sales, um, Black Friday sales and name it. You can be creative with it. So copy and um, I'm going to paste this here. You can see the file here. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make it bigger like this and um, I'm going to send it to the back, control page down, send this to the back, it should be in front of the whites. Or the whites should be slightly smaller, I've reduced the size. So this is how yours should be too. So I'm going to select all of them like this. Okay, I'm not selecting the other image. So select all of them like this. Make sure you're selecting all of them. You can see I'm selecting mine. And increase the size. Bring it downwards. Increase the size again. Increase, keep going. Bring it down. Okay, so now that you have that done, let's move over to the next image that I want to use. So this time I'm going to go over to my graphic designer premium assets. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to go towards the PNG section. And um, of course you can see that this package is also loaded too. So from here, I'm just going to select this image, this one here this triangular pattern image so i'm going to move it aside make it smaller first move it aside like this and i'm just going to click on power clip inside and select the rectangle you can see how nicely blended it is with the background right so that's one good thing about this particular png image so you have so many of these inside of the graphic design premium assets i'm going to go into the corridor templates and i'm going to select this image here i'm going to, i want to make use of this i need it for the price you can see how easy this is if you are creating this by yourself you're going to spend years trying to create things like this but i made it simpler for you right just to make things easy for you so um i have this here unique shape so what i'm going to do is um I'm going to move this name that I have first of all on group it's delete this and I'm just going to work with this butler here and uh, I'm just going to type $40 here right make this bigger like this and I'm just going to bold in it now when you download the Corel Drop Premium Asset make sure you install the font um first before you install the software first install the font before you assess everything you want to assess inside of the file please it's very very important so let's go on and light things up if you are conversant with designing here you know we make things pop so with this yellow click on this click on this and click on this right change the blend mode to let's see change the blend mode to screen okay we're good so the first place i want to have this is here now you can see that it's yellowish hold down control and click on the orange three times to change the color from being too yellowish right click on orange twice while holding down the control Bring this down here and make this smaller so that it doesn't go out of the page. And um, you have this here, your nice light effects. You can um, Ctrl C, Ctrl V to intensify the lights. 
and I'm just doing, going to drag this somewhere here to give it some some more light. And um, this is just the way I want this design to be. Right? If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you don't forget to share. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And turn on post notifications so you miss any of the videos I will drop in anytime from now. Love you guys.